What's up guys, it's Nicole and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a New Year's get ready with me and if you haven't seen my last video, um, in my last video I did a glowing up for New Year's and basically I'm showing you like I got my eyebrows waxed and everything I did to glow up and this is sort of like a second part to the video, um, it's just me doing my makeup because I did not film that for that video. I just filmed it before makeup and after makeup, but this is like an in-depth what I actually put onto my skin tutorial. So yeah, if you'd like to go check out my last video, I'll link it down below. And if you'd like to see how I did my makeup for the New Year's party I'm going to, um, just stay in tune. So I'm gonna start out with doing my eyebrows. So in my last video, like I was saying, I glowed up for New Year's and I got like my eyebrows waxed and before that they were super super bad and it was so hard to fill them in because um, they were just like really really hairy and not shaped perfectly. <clears throat> but this is actually like so much easier to fill in my eyebrows now since I got them done. Sorry if my camera goes like in and out of focus. Uh, it's a new camera, the Canon M50. Uh, I got it for Christmas. Well, I kind of like paid half of it and then my mom and grandparents paid for the other half. I explained it in my what I got for Christmas video and I'm still like learning how to use it. So yeah, don't mind if it like goes in and out of focus. I don't know if I said uh, what I'm using, but I'm using just my Anastasia brow pencil to fill in and like shape up my brows. And then next I'm going to go in with like a NYX brow powder to just thicken them up a bit. This is the NYX powder I'm using and then just like an Anastasia brush. but. Yeah, the brow powder is pretty old and worn out. I need to get like a new one soon. I almost dropped my palette and it hit my hand and it just literally left an imprint. So I was using the Modern Renaissance palette to just look at how I'm doing my eyebrows and it literally left a square of like the colors that I touched. Girl problems, girl struggles, like no one's gonna understand this except for girls. Ugh. So next I'm going to be taking my Instant Age Rewind and Stabbing this little flat brush into it and basically sort of like carving out my brows, but not really. I'm just like cleaning them up. Wow, it feels like so weird because my eyebrows used to be so hairy and it was so hard to like clean them up, but now it's like so easy, I just like run it right underneath my brow and it cleans up so good. Next I'm gonna take this gorgeous moisturizer. Gorgeous, I said that weird. And just like rub it onto my face. I know, I do my makeup in like a super weird order, but this is how I like doing it. Some people like to put moisturizer first. I like to put it after doing my eyebrows. Next I'm going to be taking my baby skin primer and squeezing it out. finger 
and just placing it all over my face. This is like such a cheap primer and it's honestly the best. It fills in all my pores, everything, and it makes my skin look so smooth. So like if I use any other primer, like I can definitely tell a difference between using this one and the other ones. I'm using the Makeup Forever HD on my Real Techniques sponge and just dabbing that all over my face. last throughout the day I'm gonna be taking again my instant age rewind on this flat brush and putting it on my pimples I might have put a little bit too much on sometimes I usually like take it and put it all over my chin and then I dot it right here on like my cheekbones because I have like scarring there and I used to have like extremely bad acne. And after that, I just take my beauty blender and blend out my face. Now I'm going to be taking this like ready set um, gorgeous concealer. It's one of my lighter shades, so I'm using it to highlight my um, under eyes, my nose, my chin, and my forehead. And then I'm gonna put a little bit on my eyes to prime them. <laughs> Do I not seem lively? Do I seem tired today? I feel like I seem tired. I don't know, I'm not like tired. I'm kind of like drained out of energy because I've been working so much because of the holidays. Um, I work at a bakery, so a lot of people were like ordering a bunch of stuff and I was just working so much. So now I'm like trying to relax and I feel like I'm so boring in bed, but honestly I'm not, I'm just chilling guys. Next, I'm going to take my really broken brush and my really broken press powder because, you know, that's my life. Everything just breaks on. Ow! I hope this uh, get ready with me is interesting. Like, I'm still gonna post it anyway because I want more content and it just gives me an opportunity to watch how my channel grows and like how my editing grows and like me just get better at filming anyway so I don't see why it matters if it's like really bad. It still works. I could learn from my mistakes. Wow, I feel like my eyebrows look better now that I put my base on. Like. Alright, so I'm going to be using these two palettes for my eyes, a soft glam and sultry. dusty rose and just put it underneath my eye so there's this like really pretty like rose pink color right there and I kind of like want to use it all over my lid but I don't know if it's gonna go with like the look this one has a rose quartz color which is super pretty too next I'm going to be taking bloom and just putting it all in my inner corner I hope, whoa, whoa, oh, I'm gonna zoom in, oh my god, look, it's like popping, I should have kept it zoomed in throughout the video, I'm sorry for not doing that, wow, that is bright, 
Cause look at this and look at that. Like the lighting's super terrible. I'm gonna pull up that picture. Okay, so I found her YouTube video. I don't know if you could like see it. So Kylie Jenner's like, she has like a pink inner corner. I'm gonna click on it and like show you what I mean. I am gonna show you how I get ready on tour, so keep watching. Her inner corners were more pink than mine, I feel like, but I'm not trying to copy it exactly. I'm just trying to like make it pink and like retro-ish, I don't know. No way, my brush and see how that goes. Oh yeah, that definitely made it brighter. This is like toned down. I'm gonna try to zoom in. Do you see what I mean? This side is brighter and this one's not. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm gonna take my butter bronzer next and runs up my face. Next, the most important step. Highlighter. So I'm just like dipping it into all of um, the shades. Lashes from Dodo Lashes. They're the D119s. Honestly, eyelashes like make the look better. Are you kidding me? It fell off. Are you serious? It's just stuck. It's stuck to this. That's it. I'm done. This is good enough. So. This is what the makeup looks like. Um, oh, I have this lip liner. I'm gonna put it on. All right, so this is how my eyes look like. Um, yeah, uh, this is the makeup look that I'm going to be using today for the New Year's party. Wow, my parents' bedroom has amazing lighting, but yeah, this is what it looks like. I just keep staring at myself in the viewfinder and I know I shouldn't do that, but it's so hard, like, I keep on forgetting to look directly in the camera. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And go check out my Glowing Up for New Year's party video. In there, you will see it, uh, if I curled my hair and, like, what the full after result was. Like, my outfit, my hair, my makeup, my everything. Um... You'll see the before, like, I looked like when my eyebrows were hairy, like, before I got them waxed and stuff. And I also got my nails done to be, like, New Year's-y. So, yeah, go check out that video. I'm gonna link it down below. But thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you recreate this look, tag me down below. And, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. So... I will see you next time. Happy New Year. Bye.